blazing, blazing, flame, flame, radio, radio. Hello world, radio. it's your boy Dub, the host, and you tuned in to Blazing Flame Radio. I had a great conversation with R&B, dance hall, hip hop artist from Kingston, Jamaica, the lovely Karyon Song. I'm telling you, she has such a positive aura about herself, and she has feel-good music. We talked about her newest single, One, Two, Three, that you can definitely find on YouTube, and you can find it in iTunes. Just search Karyan Sung. That's K-A-R-I-A-N-S-A-N-G. That's what you got to do. But if you want to hear her behind the music and probably some insight on some things that you did not know just by listening to the music you want to stay in right here stay tuned in right here to blazing flame radio we had a dope conversation with her you do not want to miss this remember blazingflameradio.com is where you need to be set up your profile stay linked to all of the interviews in the podcast let's get into this interview with the lovely korean blazing blazing Flame, flame, radio, radio, radio. You tuned in to Blazing Flame Radio. It's your boy Dub, the host. I promised y'all an interview with the lovely Miss Karyon Song. How are you today? I'm great. I'm working. I'm always just respectful. I'm feeling good right now. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now I gotta tell you, I was familiar with um, a few of your songs. And, and and it sent me to the Reverb Nation page, and I really got into your music. And I and I want to say, I'm I'm a fan. Um, I'm I'm definitely a fan. You you have a beautiful voice. Yeah, I got a new one. That's awesome. <laughs> That's real. I'm trying to get out of all of them. <laughs> I feel that 100. percent Tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, what what were some of your inspirations into to singing? Because your style is is very unique. Um, I hear like a Caribbean style with an R and B feel and, and I think it's I think it's dope. Yeah. Well um, my influences come from a lot of things. I take things and I create myself meaning like whatever is positive, I try to, you know, I, I, I I'm better than myself. So it's like when it comes to music, I was always always, always in touch with legends. So I would go like I don't think I got that thing. It's so inspiring. His music was beautiful and love, you know, I mean, you feel like you're trying to see a piece of if I love him. Um, Tupac, Bob Miley, um, even normal people that I do to it, like they, a lot of things inspire me really. I'm not the kind of person that's just, you know, that's it's a little in this world, my mom. <laughs> music is just, it's not, no, I see music, so, but these music that I see is like, what the black person, Bob Miley, Tupac, Aaliyah, Tony Braxton, because they're different, you know? I feel uh, that. Again, I guess, yeah. I feel that, though. That's, that's sweet, because you, you pretty much, you, you, you're a fan of music, so you you yeah. like, yeah, I understand. That's that's dope. So how long have you been doing it? Yeah. How long have you been singing? Wow. Like, well, I've been singing a little, but I made my career, like, my full-blown career for the last four years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've been doing it like, I just think it's good because it's addictive. I make people like it and they felt good. I was like, this is the thing. This is what I want. Yeah. I said, okay. So tell me this. I'm going to name off a couple titles of your songs. And I just want you to tell me um, a little insight on that song. Give me something about either the inspiration behind that song or just tell me something about that song that we wouldn't know. Um, One, two, three. I, I was going to start off with a different one. I was going to end off with one, two, three. But I was going to start off with another song, though. Okay. Okay? Okay. That's cool? Yeah. All right. Hot God Thing. Can you tell me something okay. about that song? Yeah. Well, um, that was a song about those confidence. You know, I wrote it because I wanted to be more secure with themselves. And it's about just feeling good. And, yeah. like, you know, you got it like that. It's being a female. And I was, you know, it was a party song. I actually wrote it because, um, Movado did a song called March Out, and that was my remake, a female version of oh, it. Oh, okay. Called Hot Girl Pink. So, it was inspired by a lot of girls. A lot of hot girls. I feel that 100. <laughs> I, I bring that up to you. You said that, um, 
you you want to make feel good you know the music make you feel yes. good and that's exactly yes. the feel that i get from listening to your music <laughs> it puts you you know what I'm saying puts you in a good place thank you sweetheart i feel like um when it comes to music it's supposed to connect in in every type of mood and whatever it is you want to feel i want to make you feel that i yeah. want to be there with you and through music as i write it as i sing it i'm with you i feel that too so, um, tell me something about the Oh Handle Me. Oh Handle Me. Okay, so I wrote that to Epic Jones Beats, and I really, really liked it because it was about, you know, it's like you're asking a guy, you know, can you handle me? Right. A lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times the guy's like, if I had you, or da 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 da, you'd be like, I, I, I would take care of everything. And it's like, really? Can you handle? <laughs> right, I feel that too. So, so I wrote it. I really on the fact that girls always say, you know, they come up to them so hard and then, like, they can't prove their point. So I was like, as I'm just talking about, can you handle it? Real, real and talk. And it's a Yeah. Okay. But then when girls want to ask the guy before she dates him, she can be like, let me ask you a question. <laughs> can you handle it? <laughs> right. Yeah, most dudes going to say yeah, but it's, it's the proof in the pudding, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know it. <laughs> the one, two, three, do you want to dance with me? Let me know about that yeah. song. Well, that song was inspired by Michael Jackson, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. And what I was doing was writing a song about feeling a guy, a girl, a mother, kind of so confident in yourself, you know, that as you say, one, two, three, it would just come. You would begin to distance. You know, it's all about having that confidence that triggers people to just give you what you want or the world to give you what you want. So that song is all about, you yeah, know, I got it like that. And you have to believe it. So that's why I wrote that song, because I want people to be like, you know, one, two, three, and it comes to me. Right. Just like that. So you're giving people confidence. That's sweet, man. That's definitely sweet. Yeah. And I don't just want to do music just for thing. I, I literally want a purpose behind all of it. That's like, real. I want to be. I want to change the mind, the heart, everything, so we can just, you know, realize things about themselves. Feel good. You don't have to worry about nobody else. Feel good about you. That's real, though. And that's that's definitely what music is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a tool of expression that, that can be a release for both parties. Yeah. Yeah, to inspire and motivate. Like, I don't, I don't know, like... I know there's a lot of songs that just make you want to turn up, which is good too, cause like, but that's their job. I'm not just here to make you turn up. I'm, I'm here to make you wonder how amazing you really are. Mm. I'm, I want you to bring out parts of you that you don't show nobody, because those are the things that keep people interested in you. So, you know what I mean? There's, everybody's intriguing. They just don't, they're not able to show it. And I think music, I'll be able to show people and teach you certain things that they, they don't know about themselves. That's real. That's definitely real. So music isn't the only thing that you uh, dibble in as far as artistry. Um, you you do um, acting also, correct? That's right. Yeah, I started in a film called Destiny. It was a Canadian and Jamaican film, and it did really well at the the box office. So I went to the premieres, and I was like first five, so I didn't even never watched one thing before I actually went to the premiere, and it was good because I looked a whole different character on that screen and I was happy because it wasn't me. I got to play somebody else completely. You know, yeah. so yeah. I love, I love it. I love acting. I like, anybody likes to play dress up and I have fun playing Lisa Pollen. Like if anybody, when they get a chance, they've got to definitely check out this movie. It's in Walmart, it's on Netflix. So it, it's definitely a feel good movie for all ages. That's what's up. And, yeah. it's, and it's called Destiny and you play Lisa Pullen in that, correct? Yes, I played lead, like the Christopher Martin, and like the cool thing about the story is that she goes through a lot of stuff, like losing her parents, and then she travels to Jamaica to sell that land and finds out some crazy things about her family. <laughs> so, you know, we all have secrets in our family, and this one is definitely going to connect. So <laughs> cool to watch it. That's what's up. So you, you originally, you're from Jamaica, correct? Yes. Yes, I was born in Jamaica, and then I moved to Canada, and, and and like started experiencing different types of music there. But it started mostly with regular music. But even if there was like R and B and hip hop, it was always re redone in a Jamaican version. Right. <laughs> so I thought it was really the Jamaican version. So when I went to Canada and I heard a song, I was like, 
<laughs> That's sweet. So do you feel that that adds to your to your style um being from Jamaica and being in Canada and and and, and pretty much engulfing two different cultures um musically? Yeah, I think I think it definitely helps because like Jamaica was showing dance style on reggae. Um Canada was showing me pop an alternative. America was showing me hip hop and um, soul. So like, you know what I mean? So this, for me, it's like R&B, R&B. So I'm getting like a more, all these different vibes mm-hmm. were like seeping in. And it's like, when I hear music, like I'm not the kind of person to be like, what is this? I like rock music. I like all stuff. What I prefer to do is fuse things because I feel like that's what makes me. So even back in the day when people would be like, why don't you pick dance all or why don't you pick R and D or be nice I'm like, I can't, you don't understand. It's like the part of me. My mind is, is hip hop. My heart is R and B and my body is dance all. You you can't separate it. It wants to work together. So now when people are doing it, I was like, Remember when y'all told me that I couldn't do this? Right, <laughs> right, right. But you you connecting with you connecting with um, a range of people through your music though, man, and that's that's beautiful hey, to me. That's what that's what I want. I don't want I don't want you to be like oh I, everybody to be like I like one song. That's nice. I know that makes that people happy like this is the song that everybody. But I like it when people link me and be like you know I like this one, and I'm just like I like this. One. I'm like I'm like good, good because I know you somebody out there felt like this because I felt like this. So. That made me feel good. Everybody has their own thing of what they want out of their fun. I know what I want out of my assassin. I want I want to connect them on connect with them on all levels. So, that's, thing for me. that's definitely what's up, man. That's definitely what's up. So the the one two three single is is in the top forty um right now in Canada, correct? Yes, that's awesome. That's definitely awesome. <laughs> that's definitely. So how how is that? Like when you when you sit back and, and hear that that type of uh news or or even even when let's let's take it back to when you won the the uh WRCMA for the um yeah. best hip hop R&B single like when when you win things yeah. and, and 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 accomplish things like that how does that make you feel as as a person as an artist I'm I'm always surprised because I never have any expectations of like what will come you know I look at people and I can always see the great things for them but I cannot see mine I always just do what I love, and hopefully it goes great. And when it does, it's always surprising. The first time I heard that song on the radio, I was like, wow. When mm. I heard that I won those awards, I, the crazy thing is, I flew out. Mm. And my mom had to go accept all, all of those awards, because I didn't even know that I would be winning. Wow. It just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't ever think, oh, if I do this, I'm going to win this, or I'm going to have this. It's more like... I think I like this. It feels good, and I hope other people, you know, I hope they like it too, because it's not just for me. I know God put the ability in you for you to put it out. It's not just for me. Mm-hmm. So I'm always just hoping that other people will be like, yo, I feel that. When people come up to me, people tell me that they cry for a song, I'm like, wow. When somebody says they're feeling down and, they, and they, that song made them feel better, I'm like, yo, that's the point. That's what I want. Mm-hmm. It's nice to be the, um, so that yes, you win this and you win that, that's nice, that's like, you know, society telling you that, yo, you're on the right path, that's awesome. But it makes me feel good if I can make somebody's day. Mm. Because not, and you can't do that for everybody, and it's nice that a song could do that, that's right. awesome. And, and I can see like what what a few of the songs that I heard those those definitely could be in someone's playlist on the daily because there's certain <laughs> things you go through through the course of your day at work or wherever yeah. and, and you just need to hear a song that puts you in a good place and and I would yeah. I would definitely per I, I would I would say you you definitely make feel good music. Okay, that's what I want. I hope you get to check out a song called Supernova. Hmm. That I have mm-hmm. because it's it basically like I feel I feel like that's one of my favorites because it's a it's a dope track that makes you understand that you're great just the way you are but you know what I mean like right. there's so there's so much more in there and I don't want you to change it I want you to evolve and it's like I don't I, when, it, when it comes to music like that I always and, and all my music I have messages. But you still can dance to it, you still can party, you have fun to it, you know, relax with your people with it. It's 
my music is like that, but I always want to leave you with something. That's that's real though. That's real. That's 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 like um, it's important in my eyes as far as being an artist. You have to leave. You gotta leave a little you. Other than you know, what I'm yeah. saying you gotta leave your, you gotta leave your thumbprint on it. You know. Yeah. You ever you ever just listen to like Tupac and Michael, and when you're done, you're like, yo, stand at the world to my rear view, going to be seen the God, to hear you at the heart, you guys and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that's like. I mean, did, you, did, you just, did you just quote a Pac verse on, yes, I did. on Blazing that's Flame that's Radio? Really, that's my thing. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Shout like, you out, man. Shout Kariana out for that. That was dope. That was super sweet. We on Blazing Flame Radio, and she just quoted a Pac verse. I, I'm impressed. That's what's up. I just, I, I know that when it comes to music, I want to leave an imprint. I want to. I want to be able to reach people, and it's like, when I die, I want to still be there. Mm. Like, you know, I want to live, so it's like, when I, that's why I look up to certain people, because they'll always be with us in a certain way, because of who they were. And, mm. and I, and I, I like this, when I, if I have a meeting with you, I mm. will stay with you forever. Like, it doesn't go anywhere, so I want to be able to do it with you, because I can't exactly live with everybody every second, which I like this much, I can't. So, so music is my way I'm staying with you. I see that, you know? man. I see that. And, and yeah, because one... Yeah? I'm, I'm sorry. I was just going to ask, do you feel the way you feel about, as far as music, like you say, that's your way of leaving a part of you with, with whomever consumes it. Uh, do, do you feel like that helps you connect with your audience um, in yeah. a better way? Yes. Yeah, I do. I do feel like musically, I, I connect with people on that way. Once they write me and they tell me what they love and all those things, it's awesome. I, I, that's the main way. And, of course, how I look will confuse somebody. I know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but but only way for them to know who I am is to listen, mm-hmm. read. <laughs> Don't just follow the picture. <laughs> There's so you. much more girlfriends. And that's another thing with music I want to show people that as much as somebody looks like something, you can't really judge a book by its color. You need to know who that person is. Because sometimes you're going to miss out by treating a person as only when really they only have love for you. Okay? That's true. That's real. That's real. love for you. That's real. You dropping you know? some jewels. You dropping <laughs> some jewels on Blazing Flame Radio. I'm appreciating that. Definitely appreciating you know, that. When you go through things, when you go through things and see how the world is, it's kind of interesting because people automatically assume something about you. They wouldn't know that I, I've gone nights without eating. They, they don't know I've been into a lot of crazy things when I was younger. Like, life is crazy, but you have to find a positive and give yourself a purpose. That's real. And, and I believe the things that we go through mold us for the life. upcoming challenges in life, you know? Exactly. Exactly. You're just preparing every mistake. You gotta learn, and you're preparing for something big. So don't, don't, don't murder, murder yourself on the way to your destiny. That's real. No, you gotta, you gotta keep pushing yourself. Like, all right, I defeat that. Next. Okay. <laughs> Look at you. You, 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 singer, um, actress, and motivational speaker. I see. That's what's up, so. man. You need it, for real. I'm not. I mean, I'm joking, but I'm not joking. That's that's what's up. You have a very very good outlook on things, and I can like I say, you make feel good music, and your personality definitely matches your music. So that's definitely what's up. Why? And that's what I want. I hope I hope people can see it like that. It's like there's so much inside a person that they want to be creative, and it's like I, I only I can show it all. It'll take time, but it's coming. That's what's up. I want to give you an opportunity to shout someone out that, you know, means something very, very special to you as far as either a supporter or someone that probably said, hey, you know what, you can do this as far as the music thing. Just just shout some people out or a person out that you feel was very um, instrumental in, in, in supporting you along the way. Yeah, I would like to shout out my family because it's like... I, I, most of my friends are family, so it's like my actual blood related and, and friends that are family. I want to shout out them all, and I want to shout out my assassin for actually sticking with me through all of it. And big up to the people that just like, yo, I like this, I see you, and you know, all that stuff. Because you can see it, but I, I don't look at it. 
Mm. <laughs> and I appreciate that. So while I can sit there and look at you and tell you how amazing you are, it's great for someone else to be like, hey, Shay, you know, because I can see yours. I right. can see everyone else's. Right. <laughs> so right. I want to shout out my family. Because up to everybody that's been showing me love all this time and sticking by me. Yo, when you know people will give their life for you, that's a big thing. That's I a don't big worry thing. about what. Yeah, I don't worry about what. When people don't care, I don't like, I, I respect people that like, Yo, I got you. So, yeah. I don't need blood to know that these people are my family. That's real. Oh, big up to my family. <laughs> that's real right there, man. That's that's real. It's a real interview, man. Definitely a real interview. <laughs> I don't want to go too far away from the music. So, I do want yeah, you to give yeah. them, you know, plug plug the one, two, three. Let them know where they can get it. We know it's on iTunes and everywhere, but let them know where they can yeah. get it. Oh yes, everybody, so you know, on that new single out for Color 1, 2, 3, it's killing them. I want you to check it out on iTunes. You can definitely go there and get your copy, find out phone call if you want to listen. You know, there's a whole bunch of stuff out there for you to check out. But 1, 2, 3 is a single right now. You need to call and let everybody play it. <laughs> real talk, real play that track, listen to it, and feel good. And it is a hot song. We definitely going to be playing it tonight. We got we got it in rotation on the twenty four seven uh music stream too. So. Salute to oh, you on I also that. wanna say big up to Victor. Oh yeah. My my that's my fashion. My, yeah, my PR he's doing his thing. <laughs> that's what's up. That's definitely what's up. Now you you did um you did a collab um with Movado, right? That's right. Yeah. It's now, I'll take it. Yeah, I, I was about to get into that. Take it. <laughs> My question to you is, like, working with different artists, uh, do you feel that adds to your artistry a little bit, in a way? Yes, definitely. If anyone says they don't learn, it's time to do something that's a lie, because I, I was definitely taught something new working with him. I learned that, you know, DJ, um, Dominican artists, they do their music on the spot a lot of times. They don't write it down on paper. Mm. Most of the time, they just... Just like they, they feel a vibe, they're going to play a beat to they feel a vibe and they start saying something. And that's what he did with me, he said a beat and I said, sing. Yes. And I didn't write, I'm a writer, you know, I learned to talk because I love to talk, I write. <laughs> so when he's like, sing something, I was like, okay. So I first it, and then he immediately said, record that, no. I was like, like that? Just like that. He's like, yeah. So I learned there's different ways of how people do things. Like, you know, I did a track with Shaggy. Um, I did my part somewhere else. He did his part. Somewhere. Like, we met up and talked about it, and then we just did our thing from where we were, and the song come out bad. Like, same thing with Diction. Like, you, you learn. You, you hear their style and everything, and it's just, it's interesting. So it does, it does become a part of you. Everything. Okay. And that's how you're supposed to do. Really? Read off that stuff and build music on all levels. That's what's up. So outside of music, um, yeah. acting is a passion. Do you have any other passions you pursue outside of music? Yes, I do. Um, well, I, I love to write, right? So I just started writing like books, oh. and um, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm writing, <laughs> and I'm writing uh, a movie. Okay. So there's a lot of things. I'm on. I also want to have a clothing line because, you know, I I know that clothes for me don't fit like it fit everybody else. I have issues, <laughs> so I want to, um I want to create a clothing line. So there's a lot of things that I'm interested in, and who knows how far I'll take it, right? But these are my interests. Yeah, with your with your outlook and the way it seems that you approach things, I don't see anything stopping you, and that's being real with you. Wicked. I That's thought, definitely something that motivates. <laughs> I thought that you would probably say a passion would be cooking. Yes. You like to cook? Always cook it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't usually tell people. <laughs> but lately, I've been admitting it because, you know, I'm ready. I got like... Yes, I do because you know what? Look, my, my, my favorite thing is food. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't have any other temptations. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Put food in front of me, and I'm just like, oh man, alright. <laughs> so, so tell me the difference in in the foods from Jamaica to 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 the states and and Canada. Oh, 
Like, like, oh. give me, give me some okay. some insight, cause I've never been to Jamaica. I've been to Canada a couple times. Went yeah. to Toronto, uh, Windsor, and Niagara Falls. I never made it over to BC though, but I, I don't smoke some BC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, we are saying good. <laughs> well, I hear it's really good. I don't, but I know that I hear great things, guys. Great things. Yeah, that'd be, yeah that's, <laughs> uh, that's some strong um, stuff right Jamaica, there. <laughs> oh, if, if. When I um when it comes to Jamaican food, it is very um seasoned, well seasoned. Like you're tasting the flavor of the yo, it's so good. Like you're tasting all the flavors. It's mm. crazy. When you when you go to um like Canada and stuff, you won't find much Jamaican food, you'll find more Asian or mm. cuisine or Indian cuisine or okay. you know, um Italian. Okay. And it's, and those are good too, but they're not as potent. <laughs> I feel you. As Jamaican food, like you know, when you're just like, yo, like it's it's tasty. So I'm always gonna love my Jamaican food the most. Um, <laughs> in the states, um, I feel like it. They, they have variety. You don't have much Asian food over here, and I like Asian food too. But it's mostly um in in Miami right now. They have like Caribbean food. You know, a lot of that and Spanish food and things like that. So, you know, I love food. Everywhere I go, I always see some cool stuff. Like, when I was in the Cayman performing, uh -huh. actually the national dish is like turtle. Uh -huh. And, <laughs> you know what? I, I was so ready to try it, but I didn't get to. A turtle? My, I, uh, turtle. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it <laughs> Like, these different countries have, like, different things. I know I, I I try I was gonna try frog legs, but they look too much like frog yeah. legs, so I, I couldn't I couldn't I do it. I guess you gotta close your eyes and pretend you're eating chicken. That's what everybody <laughs> said. Everybody. Now I've, I've eaten, you know, I've yes. eaten I've eaten different foods, uh, Pakistani food, Indian food. Um, yes. I love sushi. So yeah, I've tried yes. different types of foods, but it's certain things yeah. like turtle. I don't know if I can I can eat turtle. Yeah, I know. I actually felt bad because when I was in Jamaica, I used to ride on the back of a turtle. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> if I'm meant to eat it, I'm going to eat it. But my flight and my meeting didn't allow me because time was right. <laughs> now, to, to have a passion like you have for food, like how do you how do you yeah. keep the, the, the frame the way it is? How do you stay fit like you do? Do you work out a lot? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I do, I do dance, and you know what, and to be honest, I haven't been dancing as much because I was so busy on the creating side uh -huh. for a minute, where I was like ghostwriting and I was also writing my project, and you know, I wasn't dancing as much as, with, um, but right now I'm in training with my choreographer to bring my stamina up to par like it usually is, because one thing I don't like to do is step on a stage and not be able. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I do dance, I don't work out, I try, and I'm on and off because I just don't think it's meant for me. Wow. <laughs> like, I, I believe you are extremely <laughs> blessed. If you don't work out and you have a passion for food like that, <laughs> wow. I guess it's dancing. I guess it's the dancing. You, so when you, I do, I think people should do that. Because, you know, you got to do something that makes you feel good and make your body feel like that. Sometimes working out with machines is not really something that people feel good about. So I think everything is different for each person. You got to find what can help your body. Right. Everything is not going to work for, for everybody the same way. I see people go in the, 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 the workout room and kill it and they come up with things great. Me, you know, that won't take me forever to get right. But if I just dance for a while, I should be alright. That's sweet. <laughs> well, that's, I guess that's exercising in a way that you're enjoying it, so you're not really thinking that yeah. you're exercising. So that's sweet. Yeah, that's, like, a, that's a good method. That's sweet. You, you can you can you can Google my my workout thing on um YouTube. You see, it's like I call it like a fifties, but it's just it's just a workout. On YouTube. Okay, go on YouTube and check that out for sure. Shout out your uh, social media so they can follow you on Twitter and things like that. Yes, everybody, you can come find me, Karyan Sang, K A R I A N S A N D, on Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, SoundCloud, everything. Everything is Karyan Sang. So if you put it in Google, I will really pop up and you can come find me and message me and I will. That's the time I best to make you watch. Yep. And make sure you go on YouTube and check out the videos. Dope videos. Yes. Definitely check YouTube for all the videos that you guys don't know about. Because they're good. A lot of people are like, what do you need to do? Like, what else do you want to check on there? Come on. Yeah. Come on. 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 Come on
<laughs> you know, it's, it's right there. <laughs> Put my name. <laughs> Yep, and if you if you want to hear some music outside of listening to Blazing Flame Radio to hear from her, you can go on Reverb Nation and type in Karyan's song, and it's gonna pop up. She has some, she got some nice songs on there, nice songs. Thank you. That Runaway <laughs> song, that Runaway song is very, I I, I believe it's dope. <laughs> I yeah, listened to it like you. three times. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad. It's a book that I'm glad you like that song. I love that song too. That's like one of my late, later like ones that I like a lot. Uh-huh. I like to put them from back then, but I love that one because it's like getting it right now too. That's good that we did that track. Yeah, I'm digging that for real, for real. You have any closing thoughts or anything you want to tell the um, listeners or anybody, any, any lasting thing you want to give out to anyone? Yes. I want, I want everybody to, you know, definitely keep the faith in yourself, you know? Have to always put it in someone else, but keep it in yourself. And, you know, it will help you get to everything you want to do. Keep that in your heart. Work hard at what you're, at what you're good at. You know your skills, you know your talent. Build it, perfect it. It never, obviously, it can never be perfect. None of us but Build it. Every day you get greater and greater. Whatever you want to do, go after it. Don't fail. Do what you got to do to make your dream happen. Don't fail. And I want to say big up to all my fashions and Blazing Flame Radio for having me. I love this interview. Oh, like, man. shout out to everybody. For real. I really appreciate it. Well, I enjoy having you on. And what you just said is so similar to what I say after after every show that I close. And I, and I usually tell okay. people to stay focused on your dreams. You know, stay chasing yes. your dreams. Don't let anyone talk you away from your dreams or try to talk down on your dreams. Right, because if you think about it, like, you, if something's repetitive, nobody can fight it. So be repetitive with what you want. This is what's going to happen. The world will have to accept it. That's real. That's it. That's definitely That's real. It. Well, I truly appreciate you calling in the Blazing Flame Radio and dropping the jewels that you drop. We are definitely about to spend the one, two, three right after we get off the air. And I, I really enjoyed this interview. I really did. I mean, you, you kind of like took the show with the Pac versus... <laughs> uh, you 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 surely surely shocked me. I, I'm I'm shocked and I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the music, and I'm impressed with you knowing knowing some roots of, of hip hop. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's 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 some artists out here that are hip hop artists that don't know the roots of the game, and it's cool to know that someone really knows the roots and enjoys music. So I, I, I salute you. Yeah. I love, you know, I, I like the meaning of things. And when you, when you pick out those things, it gives you more of a meaning. You're like, wow, so this person is so inspiring. I don't people, I don't think people want to, to acknowledge that other people are great. They are. Yeah. Everybody has something great about them. And those people are able to show, show it on a, a bigger level. And that's something I want to do. So I can reach everybody. That's real. Yeah. That's definitely real. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Oh, I had a good time. No doubt, no doubt. I truly appreciate you. You're listening to Blazing Flame Radio. It's your boy Dub, the host. BlazingFlameRadio.com is where you need to be. Check out all the interviews, all the podcasts. That's the best place you need to be, man. Signing out. Yeah, it's a girl. Call me on the And you're listening to Blazing Flame Radio. Hey, Dub. Hey, I said it.